Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. Today we are going to develop another simple and easy Java program that will allow us to display this diamond shape uh, pattern, which is called a number rhombus structure. And as you can see, the particularity of this uh, pattern is that here we have uh, at the middle, the number one, and on both sides of the number one, we have identical numbers. For example, here we are having two and two, three and three, four and four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven. So this is actually the particularity of this particular pattern. So we're going to use Java programming language in order to design or develop a program that will display or print out these numbers and then form a diamond shape a pattern like this one you can see on the screen. So now let's start coding. Let me refresh this. All right. So the first thing we're going to do, so instead of declaring uh, the variables first, I'm simply going to write directly my output statement. And this output statement is going to prompt the user to enter the number of rows that he wants in his particular pattern. So I'm going to say system that out that print line like this. And I will say, please um, enter the number of rows. So you can write whatever message that will be um, appealing and self-explanatory. After doing that, I'm going to now write the input statement and I'm going to directly declare uh, my uh, variable that I'm going to call rows. And this variable is going to hold the value entered by the user. So the input object is console. As you can see here, we said uh, we declare it as console. And then I'm going to use the next int method. So this statement is an input statement. After this one, I'm going to declare and initialize three other variables that are really necessary in this uh, program. So the first one, I'm going to call it count. And now I'm going to initialize it by giving it the value one. The second variable, I'm going to call it uh, spaces. And I'm also going to initialize it by giving it the value of one. And finally, the third variable, I will call it start. And I'm going to say initialize it by setting its value to zero. So these are the other three variables that we are going to be using throughout this program. So the first for loop statement, I'm going to say for int i, int i equal to one. Then the condition will be i must be less than uh, the variable rows multiplied by two. Then I will increment the value of i. So this is the first for loop statement. And inside, I will write my second for loop statement. And I will say for int y equal to variable rows minus the variable spaces. Okay, so this variable space is here. And the condition here is going to be y must be uh, greater than zero. And I'm going to decrement the variable y. Inside, I will say system that out that print, and I'm going to print uh, a space like this. Okay, so now after that, I need to write an if statement. And this if statement will have the condition i less than rows. So for i less than the variable row, the variable start here is going to be equal to i. And um, the variable spaces is also going to be incremented like this one. All right. Then I'm going to say else the variable start will be equal to the number of rows multiplied by two minus one. And the variable spaces will be decremented. So that's it. Then outside here, I am going to write another for loop statement. All right, so this for loop statement, I will say for int j equal to zero. 
and j must be less than the variable count. I think we have the variable count here. We declared and initialized it. So I'm gonna say good variable count and uh, j plus plus the system that out that print. So here it's going to print the value stored in the variable star. So now here I'm gonna say if j is less than count divided by uh, two, then start will be decremented or else we will say that start will be incremented. So that's it. And um, so outside of this uh, for loop, I am going to write another if statement. And in this if statement, I'm going to say that the condition is going to be i less than rows and uh, the variable count must be count plus two. I guess that's it. And else, I would say count must be equal to count minus two. So now out here, I will simply write an output statement and I'm going to output an empty string, then save. Now, if I run, you will see what will happen. When I run, it says, please enter the number of rows. So I have to change. If I enter, I need to change some Miran five like this. Mm, there are certain things that we need to change. Um, okay, this one here, instead of rows multiplied by two minus one, it's minus i. And then let me run. All right, as you can see, now the rhombus structure is showing correctly. You have one on this column, you have two here, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And as you can notice, each column of the diamond is having the same or uh, identical number. And also uh, both sides of uh, one is also having the same number. So you can count from left to right, starting from one, or from right to left, starting from one, here is the same thing, all right? So that's it, I can run again and then enter nine. So as you can see, the rhombus structure is showing correctly. So guys, that was it concerning the rhombus structure, how you could develop a Java program to display or print out a diamond pattern as this one you can see on the screen. I hope this video was informative and please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one. Let's meet in the next video.